Hello everybody, back in Saul here for another episode of The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD. And last time we, uh, well we went below the ocean and, uh, we got the legendary Master Sword. Now King of Red Lion says it's time to go get, um, go get Ganondorf now that we can actually kill him because of the sword. But, first of all, let's talk to Fishman. And, uh, oh man, I haven't done this voice in forever. Okay. Is that good? <clears throat> okay. Okay. Sure. Yeah, yeah, I've heard. I want you, I, I take you on to try information about science. Start by opening up your state chart. Okay. I don't know. Doesn't sound right to me, but. Oh, well. All right. So we get Tower of the Gods. Let's see what he tells us. I've done a fish fortune on you, small fry, and from what I can tell, it looks like you're fated to come to this place many times. And the keys that control that fate are none other than the lucky items known as the Triumph Forks. Yeah, they're some sort of magical utensils. <laughs> if you want to learn more about the Triumph Forks, talk to that guy, Tingle. That's what the fish fortune told me. Now I know I may only be a fish, but my fortune telling is uncannily accurate. You'd better believe it, small fry. That's all the info I got to offer. Etc. Etc. And with that, I'm off. All right. So, uh, there didn't used to be a fisherman here until the Tower of the Gods pops up, and then there is a fisherman here. But uh, now, uh, we got a uh, thirty. We got to open up treasure chart six, and that will be uh, one quadrant to the west. At a six eye reef, I can already see it right there. Um, so yeah, uh, before we actually go take on uh, Ganondorf, we gotta we gotta go do some more side questing. And uh, I can already see the giant beam of light there. Man, it disappears when we're so far away already. All right, it's like right here. Oh, that's not... Oh, I just wasted some bait. Cool. Salvage. Stop, 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 please. There we go. And what does this get us? What treasure have we pulled out from the depths of the sea? A silver rupee. It's worth 200 rupees. Hey. Alright. Um... Next up, we're gonna go north one quadrant to, uh, let's take a look at the map, to Northern Triangle Island. Yeah, we've been there before, but, uh, we need to head back there now. Uh, is it over here? Well, I mean, this is north, right? I am headed north, correct? Yes. Okay. Uh, I'll find it. It'll be around. Because we gotta do a little, uh, Storm chasing. There we go. Today I'm going to be one of those uh, tornado hunter guys. Alright, so here we see another uh, frog on a cloud like we saw way back at the beginning of the game. Uh, oh god. Aiming is so weird. Got him. Didn't get him that time. These are got to be fast. Oh, got him twice. And is that one gonna hit? Got him. So you have to hit him three times with arrows. And then uh, the storm will die down. And he's giant. Oh man, what's what's a voice I could do for him? That's a heck of an arm you got there. Is that a good voice? Maybe. <laughs> sure, let's go with that. Ha 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 ha. And what an eye! No one's ever been able to spot me in there before now. You obviously have mastery of the air, and now that we have established that you're quite the wind waker, let's see if you can handle this. I don't know how I feel about that voice. Sounds really like anime dub style voice, but uh, he teaches us a brand new song. Down, right, left, up. You learned the Ballad of Gales. A. Wahoo! 
In the hands of a Wind Waker like you, my adorable little Cyclones will be as happy as can be. If you need to move like the wind over the ocean deeps, just call on my Cyclones. <clears throat> wow, that voice apparently doesn't agree with my throat. Well, I guess I'll head for home now. See you all down the road. <laughs> hmm. Alright. Well, luckily, I believe that's the only time we'll ever have to do that voice. So, <laughs> so now we have the Ballad of Gales. And, uh, let's demonstrate it. Down, right, left, up. It's like a Mortal Kombat fatality combination there, man. Anyway, um, let's just warp to Windfall. Because that's kind of along the way of where we need to go now. Anyway, we play the song, we spin around in circles a lot, and a little tornado picks us up and warps us to wherever we need to go. In this case, we chose Windfall. <laughs> so, now we have a uh, fast travel among the, uh, among the islands. Fast travel along the sea. But, uh, yeah, let's make it day. There we go. Is it going to storm because I made it day? It always does. Probably as soon as we get out of the quadrant, huh? Maybe. Anyway, uh, we're going to now head one quadrant to the east on Pauprin Isle, I believe. And uh, we'll open up another treasure chart. Let's see. Need to open up treasure chart 30. Yep, that is definitely on Pauprin Isle. So, off we head. On the very first route we ever sailed on this game, east from uh, from Windfall, the very first sailing we did. Good memories, good memories. Uh, so there's Popper Nile there. I can already see it in the distance. Uh, where is the treasure? Ah, I see the treasure. Uh huh. I see you. You're like right here. Salvage? Oh no, it's not right there. Oh no. Right here. Got it. Nice. I was off by a little bit. It's okay. And what treasure do we get now? We get a piece of heart. Now we have half a heart. We need two more. Alright. It would actually be cool if uh, the life meter didn't wait for a full heart if like each quarter heart you got it added a quarter heart to your life meter I think that would be pretty cool don't you <laughs> um, anyway now we're gonna have to head uh, up here to seven star Isles so Northeast um, we've been to seven star Isles before haven't we I mean obviously we have I think we've got a treasure there yeah, we got a treasure there. And I mean, I have the the fishman info, so yeah, we've been there. Um, but today, we're going for uh, some platforms um, that uh, we couldn't have beaten before. You remember the, the little platforms, like those in the background there? Stick out of the sea. Um, there are some over here. And uh, we need to get the bow and arrow first before we were able to beat them. There they are. Hello, Seagulls. How are you? Also, I meant to check, but I haven't checked yet. I believe I've gotten a pictograph of the giant Octos, or the big Octos already. Because those are missable. If you kill all the big Octos before you get a pictograph of them, those are that's a missable figurine in the Nintendo Gallery. Uh, but I'm pretty sure I already got one. I'll check that off camera. I'll go to the Nintendo Gallery and see if I've gotten it. But, um... No, let's focus on the now. Um... So we gotta go up here. And... There we go. Got him. <laughs> That's it. Um... Yeah, I think we did this one before. Didn't we? I remember going to one where there was a wizard robe, and I, I remember being like, oh, can't beat that yet. Oh, got him. Alright, and then that unlocks a chest over there. 
And then I think more wiz ropes will spawn. Right? Yep. Okay. Ooh, I heard another one. They're white wiz robes. Hey. White wiz, ro white wiz robes aren't very common. Got him. And then that'll unlock a chest on that side. Alright, well, let's open them in the order that they appeared, shall we? This one gives us a red rupee. 20 rupees, not bad. Okay. Let's do some platform hopping. Hey! Made it. That would have been so sad if I missed. A golden feather, great. Because I still need those. Mm hmm, sure. I mean, basically, all I can do with them now is sell them to Beetle, but... Oh, well. And this one, ooh, this one gets the special cutscene. What does this one give us? A treasure chart! A. Hey. Nice. Alright, um... Now that we have that, we need to head over here to the flight control platform. Southeast. Uh... I was looking for a ladder, but the ladder's over here. Oh, and I missed... Hey, I landed in Coral. The thing I've been trying to do this whole playthrough. And I did it without even trying this time. Cool. Okay. Let's make a day. There we go. Much better. Alright, so we're going to head to the uh, the flight control platform, but we're not going to do the mini game again. Uh, this time we're looking for a submarine in that quadrant. Uh, <coughs> my, <coughs> my throat isn't really agreeing with me today. Hey. <coughs> hmm. Where is the submarine? Oh, is that it over there? No, that's the, the main island platform thing. Uh... Hello, submarine. Where are you? Uh... I know there's a submarine here. Oh, is that it over there? I think that's it, right there. I see you. Alright. So this is also one we needed the bone arrow before, uh... Whoa, what happened to the camera there? I think I hit left trigger. Or, uh... ZL. Right? That's what it's called? ZL? Yeah. Um. Anyway. Go in here, because there are whiz robes in here. Oh man, it's dark. Alright, let's press this button. Everything lights up. And there's a... Oh no, I waited too long. Okay, kill the whiz robe. Choo choos. Let's worry about the uh, bigger enemies first. Hey. Yeah, we'll worry about the whiz robe first. Excuse you. Ah, and mini blends, no. Oh my god. This is terrible. Oh man. I'm gonna start lagging. Mini blends are so laggy. Even since the GameCube game, and I never understood why. They're little lag machines. Uh, okay. Nope. Ugh. This is, uh, a, a cheap difficulty. Um, so, like, they've added difficulty to it by adding different things that you can L-target. <laughs> so it makes it harder to target the, uh, the whiz robe. And that's pretty cheap, to be honest. Alright. So we just have to kill the, uh, the whiz robe. That's why I said we're, we'll just focus on the whiz robes. So, let's head up here. And... Chest appears. A. Hey. And... What do we get in here? We got the platform chart. Now, find the platforms out on the high seas. 
All right, so what this is, oops, wow. Um, there's a platform chart. It'll tell us where all the platforms are. Great. Why do we need that? 400%. <laughs> Cause I'm not gonna sit here and plot out uh, platform takeovers cause I already have my route all done. But um, yeah, let's get out of here. Leaders. Oh, that guy was like clipping through the ground. Did you see that? That was weird. All right, let's get out of here. Jumped in coral again. All right, now we're gonna make use of our brand new song here, Ballad of Gales. And we're gonna warp to Southern Fairy Island. And we do have a blank spot on our map to the west of there. And luckily that's where we're gonna be sailing next. So we'll be able to fill in that spot. Okay, where's Fishman? Ah, right next to us. Huh. Oh no! I didn't want the Southern Fairy Island. I just realized my mistake. This is Southern Fairy Island. What's with all the same bait? Blah, blah, blah. I don't care. <laughs> Fine looking bow you got there. Where'd you get that? You know, you're in a kind of hurry. Why don't you stop and play with me in a bit? Uh, okay. Of course you will. Yeah, of course you will, Fry. And to be honest, you'll be helping me out. See, I've got, I've been having some ferocious body aches that only acupuncture can cure. <laughs> Check it out. I'll give you 10 arrows for that bow of yours. And I want you to aim those suckers at me while I leap out of the sea. Yeah, see if you can't peg me with them. For each arrow you nail me with, I'll give you 10 rupees. <clears throat> My throat, man. And if you hit me all 10 times, I'll give you... 200 rupees. Okay, so we have 10 shots. And nope, oh, too early. Where is he? Aha. Uh -huh. Got him. So that's 10 rupees we got. Nope, missed. Uh... No! I shot too soon. Got him twice. Three times. And... Got him. So we only have three more shots. Let's try to get them all. <laughs> As I say that, I miss. Great. I do like how this mapped the uh, the bow to the to the R button. That's a lot easier. I should do that honestly. All right. <laughs> What's the deal, Fry? You only hit me six times. Oh well. What's a man fish to do? Well, here's your 60 rupees. Go on, take them. You want to do it again, Fry? Just scatter some more bait for me, okay? And with that, I'm off. All right. Anyway, let's head west now. The way we're supposed to go. Just wasted two things of bait today, just in this episode. Great. All right. Um. Oh, we also need to open up a uh, chart. That's why we're sailing there in the first place. Chart 16. Um. All right. Uh. Oh, we're also gonna have to equip more bait. I'm almost out of bait. I'm gonna have to buy some more bait. All right. Where's this island? Assuming that's you right there. <laughs> uh. Where is Fishman? All right, well, let's get this uh, treasure here. Gotta go slow. It's like right here. 
right? Oh, it's actually further up ahead. Okay. Like right here. Good. Let's do that. And what treasure do we get? A silver rupee. Hey, another 200 rupees. Not bad. Oh, look, there's a ring of treasures here. I think these only appear at night. It's technically night. Where's Fishman? Did he just jump over there? Did I just see him jump? No? Well, let's make a day. I need to see Fishman. I need it to be light out. Oh, man. This episode needs to end soon. Looking at the time. Um, oh, yeah, there is Fishman over there. I see. Okay. We'll close it out with a fishman segment. <laughs> uh. Okay. <clears throat> hmm. Blah blah blah. We know this. Let me get my my throat prepared. Let's see. Let's see what he tells us about this island. It's in the shape of a shark, so it's called Shark Island, obviously. Okay. Tell me, small fry, have you ever been caught in one of those cyclones? The windy cyclops uses those cyclones to fly across the sea instantaneously. Or so I've heard. Could be just a rumor. Boy, if you I blah blah blah. Boy, if you had that power, you wouldn't have to spend so much time sailing back and forth across the sea all the time. Wouldn't that be nice, Fry? <laughs> My throat's so dry I can't do the voice. But let me tell you, there's no way he'll give up his power easily. You can't get near the guy, so you'll have to figure out how to shoot him from a distance. <laughs> Don't you have a weapon that can pierce things from a distance? You know, flip, flip, I tell you. You get my point, Fry. That's all the info I got to offer. Blah, blah, blah. All right. Uh, let's land so I can end the episode on my feet. Ah, uh, but yeah. So he tells us about Cyclops, but we already got the power. <laughs> we already got the song. And, uh, so yeah. Uh, anyway. Yeah, we did a lot of stuff today. Uh, there's still a little uh, bit of side questing we have to do. But, uh, we'll get back on the main, main, uh, quest, main storyline soon enough. But, uh, yeah, that's gonna do it for us for today. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye!